Mass today is offered for the repose of the soul of Robert Kashgarian, the husband of our parishioner, Amin Kashgarian. And we also include in our prayers Harriet Ford and Father Michael Whalen, of the Ascension Fathers, who died early this morning. Today, the Dominicans celebrate the feast of St. Peter Martyr, so the proper parts of the Mass won't be in your uh, if you come, they come from the uh, with joy, let us celebrate the glorious combat of St. Peter Martyr, who acknowledged Christ before others and merited to be honored by Christ before the Father in heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us remember our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we, we have, have sinned, sinned against you. you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may imitate with fitting devotion the faith of the martyr Saint Peter, who for the spread of the same faith was deemed worthy to obtain the palm of martyrdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remember Jesus Christ raised from the dead, a descendant, as a, a descendant of David, such is my gospel for which I am suffering, even to the point of chains like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I bear with everything for the sake of those who are chosen so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus, together with eternal glory. This saying is trustworthy. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful for he cannot deny himself. Remind people of these things and charge them before God to stop disputing about words. This serves no useful purpose since it harms those who listen. Be eager to present yourselves as acceptable to God, a workman who causes no disgrace, imparting the word of truth without deviation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. He teaches me your ways, O Lord. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. He teaches me your ways, O Lord.
our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, This is the first. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he had answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, the liturgy is really a great feast for us today in so many ways, not simply because it's the feast of St. Peter Martyr, but also, and more importantly, because of everything that is extended to us in the Eucology for today's Mass. Let's start first with Peter Martyr. St. Peter Martyr was an early follower of St. Dominic. He heard St. Dominic preach in Peter's hometown of Verona, Italy, and after hearing his preaching, joined the order. He was well educated by the time he came to the order, but then of course received more formation. He became a great preacher of the truth of our Catholic faith and that it is only in Jesus that we are saved. And while he fought false doctrine in many ways, what gained him the palm of martyrdom was when Manichaeism tried to establish itself in Italy. You know Manichaeism? That's the, the heresy that says all religions are evil. It was the very beginning of syncretism and relativity, the 1300s. We're still trying to get rid of it. Anyhow, Peter fought and preached and fought against this with a great, great fervor, even to when he went to the Persian Isle of Manichae to try to attack it at its root. And the emperor told him, be quiet or you'll die. And Peter began to say, and Jesus Christ, and he got an axe in his skull. But the story has it, history tells us that as he was bleeding to death, he wrote crater in the sand. I believe the feast. The readings today continue what we heard yesterday particularly in the reading of St. Paul to Timothy. If we have died with him, we shall live with him. If we persevere, we shall reign. But if we deny him, he will deny us. But if we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Those words, since the first time I heard them as a little boy, have really tripped me up. 
If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful because he cannot deny himself. Well, if he's going to deny us, if we deny him, why, if we're, un if we're unfaithful, won't he be unfaithful? Because it is not in the nature of God to be unfaithful. To be unfaithful is a vice. It's a sin. And the fidelity that God shows us, as Timothy teaches us here, is that if we're unfaithful, and at the moment we are on our way to him, and we say, sorry, he's right there with mercy and forgiveness. And similarly, I would say that even if we die, didn't have the opportunity to say, I'm sorry. In that moment of our particular judgment, the Lord sees into the depths of our hearts. And he can see with justice, of course, but also with great mercy. In justice, we may spend a great deal of time in purgatory. That doesn't mean we're in pain, nor what it means is that we don't have the fullness of the vision of God yet. So we're shown this tremendous, tremendous fidelity of God to us. And then, in the Gospel, the great Shema, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is your God, the Lord alone. And the realization, the assurance of Jesus that this scribe was very close to the kingdom of heaven. You see, the preaching of Christ had so taken over him that he comes to know the truth. Only Jesus. All three of those things, the feast of Peter Martyr, reading from Timothy and the Gospel from Mark come together to form in us the great question, how do we believe? How firm is our belief? How do we live what we profess? And are we presumptuous of God's mercy? He'll forgive. Or do we recognize the need for penance and repentance, the sacrament of reconciliation? And do we truly live Jesus? Today, through the intercession of St. Peter Martyr, may you and I have the courage to always believe even when it may be very easy to malign the people who are rioting and looting throughout our cities, even when our government is driving us insane, even when we're tired of a virus, whatever it is, may we always, by our words and actions, witness that we believe in Jesus, and with Jesus, we see with the eyes of justice, but even more, the eyes of mercy. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread of your offering, the fruit of the earth and the word of our kingdom. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. The mystery of faith, 
Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, and give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one body of the Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and Joseph, and Robert, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Robert, Father Michael, and Harriet, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in the death of his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that oh, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Peter, martyr, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to the May praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace for our days. And that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Says, peace I in you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirits. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. The Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
I am the true vine, and you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him bears the fruit and plenty. Let us pray. Proclaiming the praises of the Paschal Victim in word and in deed, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that through the example and intercession of St. Peter Martyr, we may be able to persevere until death in communion with the Lamb in the Son. Through Christ, May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke you in humbly prayer. And devour the Prince of the Heavenly Host.